Welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending March 10th, 2024. And, oh, that's right. Uh, Dragon Ball creator Akira Toriyama passed away this week. The staff of an anime piracy site were handed prison sentences. Gundam announced a new model material, and Digimon is launching its own manga platform. Here are the headlines. We'll talk about that pirated anime site after the data, but first, let's get into the headlines. Uh, let's see here. We will start with an anime announcement. Uh, yesterday at GA Fest 2024, there's a TV anime coming for The Brilliant Healer's New Life in the Shadows, a light novel series. Um, they also had a webtoon adaptation in the works for this summer. The story follows a poor and unappreciated healer who decides to turn his life around and open an underground clinic in the city's underbelly. I'm assuming that's the guy in the black hair and not the little girl, <laughs> but who knows, you know. Could it's be. anime. It's a, it could could be. Could be anything. Uh, could be anything. So hopefully that's a fun one. I like the idea of a uh, protagonist who decides to like, like turn his life around, like decides to really you know change things and just do good things for other people. Hopefully not a self-absorbed uh, anime protagonist looks like. Yeah, hopefully he won't be down there and be like some doctors were. They're just like I am God, worship right. me because <laughs> I can heal. Here's hoping. Uh, Steve, you want to take the next one? Sure. Uh, so we have a, uh, let's see here, an action role-playing game, Sakura of Rice and Ruin. Uh, it's getting an anime. Cool. Uh, this TV anime has been greenlit for a side-scrolling role-playing game. Again, uh, Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. Uh, it's animated by PA Works and it's going to premiere later this year. Uh, so it's a game that came out in 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, I have not played it. I, I'm not, not really familiar with it. But apparently there's a very lonely lonely harvest goddess oh. Sakura, who is banished to a dangerous island because that's what we do with little girls apparently mm -hmm. with a group of human outcasts kind of almost sounds like a fallout kind of scenario yeah I'm really sure um it did have a manga adaptation in 2021 um but we get an anime of probably a little girl with a magical scarf that can beat up people from far away <laughs> so you know um so if that's <clears throat> the kind of thing you're looking for that that there it is there we go. Um, I have seen a trailer for this. It does look cute. Like very, yes. uh, very, very fun. So let's see here. Uh, uh, Apple Japan posted a 19 minute live action short based on Osamu Tezuka's Midnight manga. Uh, it was shot entirely on an iPhone 15 Pro. Granted. Yeah. There's a lot of other things that go into those sorts of professional yeah. things. Yeah. So that's always kind of an asterisk there. But you know what we I mean. Uh, the manga follows a taxi driver named Midnight. Shocker. Um, and the passengers that ride in a special five-wheeled taxi that can navigate any road. Which just goes to show you, even Odd Taxi was inspired by Osamu Tezuka. Uh, everything goes back to Tezuka at some point. <laughs> um but uh, uh, kind of a cool yeah. thing, you know. And you don't see a lot of live action Tezuka adaptations. No, um, and as you say, Tezuka is kind of like Neil Peart of, not, of manga. <laughs> um, you know, it just everything goes back. It, it, I, I gotta tell you, I actually skipped through parts of the nineteen minute uh, um, thing that they that they showed, and it actually does look good. Um, cool. But and but again, you know, put that asterisk beside the filmed entirely on iPhone fifteen. <laughs> I'm sure some of it was, but uh, <laughs> but it looks good. It looks good. Yeah. So so looking 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 forward to that. Yeah, an iPhone was involved. Yeah, exactly. Maybe as a weapon. I don't know, yeah, but you know, it, it was it was there. Totally. All right. We have here next up. We have Digimon because all things are Digimon. Digimon mm -hmm. announces a web manga platform. Digimon mm -hmm. Con, uh, at Digimon Con uh, 2024, the, the live stream, uh, they revealed an upcoming web manga platform to launch on the main Digimon website because there's not enough Digimon stuff out there apparently, so we have to have this. Um, and, but, but this could be released not only in, um, of course, Japanese, but English as well. Cool. And uh, yes. And the platform's first digital re release will be sometime this summer, I guess. Okay. And um, the site will release a um, manga that won the Digimon Comic Award. So whoever, did, you know, the people who who, who took part of that contest, uh, they're going to have their little little things put up there. And uh, the staff will launch a new Digimon novel competition. 
So you get to write your fanfic of Digimon. Keep it clean, okay? Yeah. If you're going to do this, <laughs> please keep it clean. It's interesting. I can't think of another just straight up franchise that has its own manga platform. Right. Uh, obviously, Shonen Jump and, and you know, the big publishers, but that's a pretty big push. I wonder if, like, kind of like you're saying, it's more of a um, fan creation platform where they'll put yeah. up official stuff as well, but it's more for fan works to get a platform. Hopefully. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Yeah, definitely. Um, cool idea. Hope, hope that goes well for them. Uh, speaking of things going well, Gundam Seed Freedom is coming to the U.S. The new Gundam Ooh. Seed movie is getting an official United States premiere in nice. March 31st in New York City and L.A. only. Yeah. Why does everyone get down on Baltimore? Yeah. <laughs> Um, the LA screening will feature a special talk show featuring two main Japanese cast members and the producers of the English dub. Um, I believe this will be... Um, actually, I want to double check. Um, I think the announcement was that... Uh, it, yeah, it'll be... Uh, and this is another interesting thing. Um, the New York screening will feature an English dub cast member and a special comment video from the film's director. Nice. But they're airing it in Japanese with English subs. So... It's kind of interesting. I'm assuming the idea is, you know, it's going to come out on Blu-ray, and so you can watch oh, it, yeah, dub, yeah, all yeah. that kind of stuff. But it's kind of interesting that they're kind of featuring the dub, even though they're just screening the subdiversion. Um, attendees will receive commemorative items, of course, and premium ticket holders will get a gunpla. <laughs> they're just going to hand out freedom gunpla. gunpla. <laughs> God, swag. Nice. The, 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 the swag. Um plus other things. I don't know what the... They haven't listed the, the cost of any of those that I can see. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it'll it'll be up there. But So if you're in LA or New York City, um, March 31st, you might get a chance to see Gundam Seed Freedom early, which would be pretty cool. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, for some people that might be worth the trip, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You know, to, to, to go up there and get the thing. Because I, I feel like there's enough here that, you know, like you, you, you're getting a nice interview, you're getting yeah. swag, and you're seeing something really cool. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Unfortunately, that would not be me. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, sadly. Yeah. Um, but uh, let's see here. Um, yeah. All right. right on. So speaking of Gundam, mm. things all things Gundam because things all just like Tezuka, all things come back to Gundam eventually. Mm. Um, Bandai Namco is going to release a new one to one forty four scale RX seventy eight two Gundam vintage color model. But here's the cool part: it's going to be made partially of recycled wood. Uh, the model is oh. going to be composed, yeah, of twenty percent wood and resin mixture, greatly reducing the amount of uh, petroleum based products. So this is a really good thing. So this is yeah. like you know. Um, we're not just wasting plastic and, and hastening the end of the earth just yet. <laughs> so, um, so this, so it's gonna be a wood plastic composite material uh, made from forced thin trees. So that means that these are already from um, felled trees and they're the kind of the scraps, uh, the discarded sawdust, construction offcuts, and others. And it's going to, your condoms gonna smell like wood. But um, it, but that's really kind of cool actually when you yeah. start to think about it because. Um, when you combine those materials, they actually are pretty strong. Mm. You know, it's 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 it's, it's going to be a really kind of neat thing to do. Um, the model will be available at Hyperplamo, twenty twenty four for one thousand six hundred fifty yen. Not bad. Yeah. So so, like so if you bucks. so if you're a model person, I think you might want to get this. This could be a lot of fun. I gotta say, also, I love and I'll see if I can. Um, but I love the box. Like that retro yeah. style box yeah. is just that's a that's a really cool visual. Um, they've actually had this for three D printers for a while, um, so you can get really? PLA plastic that's kind of wood infused in it, and three D print with that. And I've, I've done that in the past, and nice. like, it's true. Like it, it smells like wood. It looks like wood. It has kind of that wood texture. It's very interesting. Um, obviously, this is a different you know manufacturing process, but um, nifty. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. 
not so nifty. Sadly, the voice actress of Chibi Muruko Chan has passed away this week at age 63. Um, she uh, did not just do Chibi Muruko Chan, though. She also played uh, Kirara in Inuyasha, Monokuma yeah. in uh, Danganronpa 3, uh, and a bunch of others. Um, uh, characters in uh, One Piece and uh, other things like that. And also did some theme song work. So very sad to see. Yeah. Go. And finally. Speaking, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. No, go ahead. All right. And of course, the news that we all know about just now. Yeah. Um, I talked about it on my, my channel this morning. Um, Dragon Ball creator Akira Toriyama has passed away. Um, uh, the funeral has already happened. The family uh, asked that uh, you not send any gifts or anything to them, but um, of course, the the bird studio and and other places, production places, are going to probably have an event in the future where you can do stuff like that. Um, we all know about uh, Akira Toriyama. You know, he did Doctor Slump. Um, you know, of course, Dragon Ball, which you know propelled him in, into you know stardom. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if anybody's uh, familiar with Dr. Slump. It's actually really kind of cute, really kind of kind of yeah. cool thing to do. He's done so many character designs. Um, was that Dragon Quest, Chrono Trigger? Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, the Sandland uh, games. We're going to get the Sandland, actually, anime coming yeah. up here. And, um, and, of course, we all know the Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, all that wonderful stuff. And, um, you know, I'll just keep it simple here. But, uh, you know, one of the things for me for uh, Toriyama was... Actually, it was two things. Uh, one of them was getting me to read manga. And mm. because I wanted to check out Dragon Ball, because you know, I enjoyed Dragon, watching Dragon Ball Z on, on Toonami or Del Swim, whichever it was that, that aired at first. And um, knowing that there was something prior to that, and I wanted to re read the manga because I was having trouble finding Dragon Ball anime. And finding myself falling in love with his ma manga and actually propelled me to read more manga. Mm, wow. um, so that's, you know, kind of a little something for me that they did for me. And of course, you know, I think we all agree that he is probably partially responsible for the huge now swelling of otakudom in the Western world. Because a lot of people point to Dragon Ball Z as like one of their first anime. Absolutely. Well, and it, yeah. it's, it's both the fact that Dragon Ball Z, you know, aired incessantly in America yes. for years and years and years, you know, before the otaku boom, before all that stuff, it was out right. there. It was building fans, you know, constantly. Um, and so, you know, it was a big deal for American anime fandom. But then also, you know, you could, you could argue that pretty much every shonen anime since, you know, owes a debt to Dragon yeah. Ball Z. Um, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and, you know, it was it was definitely a seminal work in the the action shonen genre. So, yeah, very very sad. Um, so rest in peace, Toriyama-san. Um, uh, may you fly to the heavens on a cloud just like Goku. And uh, now we will move on to the data and be back in a little bit. <laughs> 